stop! Future Mike here, since past Mike forgot to mention this, but next week is a theme song suggestion Friday. It is Disney-themed. Make sure you put all of these suggestions that are strictly songs from Disney movies in the comments below, and I will see you guys next week. Hey guys, it is Mike with The Come Tonight. Welcome back to another Song Suggestion Friday. This is the show where you put your suggestions of songs you would like my feedback on in the comments below. If you'd like to know the rules on that, there will be a link to a video down below you can watch so you have the best chance of having your song picked. There also is a Become the Night subreddit made by a fan, run by a fan. They do their own song suggestion Friday over there, so if you want to go take part in that, go have, oops, go have fun. Also, if you want to increase your chances of getting your suggestion picked, please become a patron. Patrons have priority. Let's begin. Pure Comedy by Father John Misty. Really strange intro, got like some weird clips that they mashed together. Most of the song is piano and voice alone. Mostly straight chords. He has a nice voice. It kind of reminiscent of like an Elton John style of vocal. Good melody. Very gentle, very somber. The lyrics in the beginning were kind of funny. They made me laugh. As it went on, I feel like the message got a little bit too preachy for me. Not only that, I feel like his viewpoint on things is a little reductive. The chord progression throughout this song is nice. It's nothing pretentious. It's just smooth. Drums and bass finally come in at about 210. Everything on their end is very minimalist. This song heavily lyrically and melodically focused. At 317, we kind of pull back on the other instruments and start adding little hints of weird samples and vocal synth. Nice touches. At 419, we get our passionate build and our crescendo as well. Start adding some horns, great touch. The whole moment, very passionate. And then there's a great, I would say a mild culmination at the chorus. This whole song feels very classic. It is kind of derivative, but in a fresh way. It definitely felt good. So to grade for this song, equal sign. Attitude by Sepultura. Weird string instrument intro. I'm digging it. Goes to a very growly bass and droney guitars. Very chuggy, very beefy. This whole track is very timbre oriented. The music theory and the harmony are very secondary in this one. Mostly simple rhythms throughout. There are thick percussive accents on all of the instruments. I really don't like this style, but this is probably the best production for this genre I have ever heard, and that makes me enjoy it much more. It doesn't irritate me, which means a lot. This vocal style kind of reminds me of like a precursor to pig squeals. The drums are very natural sounding, very gritty guitar and bass tone. And those tones are separate, but blend together excellently. The actual playing itself is not very tight, but the loose feeling actually complements the genre. This is not my thing, but both the production and the tone make it enjoyable. Total great for this song, equal sign. Waiting Around for Grace by Pond. Wow, weird synth. I really hate the vocals, honestly. They kind of remind me of MGMT's vocals a little bit. The melody throughout is kind of lullaby-esque. The whole song has a very dreamy, um, very surreal feeling. At one minute, we start to get our rock feel. We have a modulator guitar, an absolutely crushed drum kit with very little room on it. Tons of synth. It is actually a very complete, well-rounded sonic picture. Super, super full. The chord progression is familiar with some different changes, basically some very simple chord progressions with modulations thrown in. Drum part, very simple. Very tight, but very simple. As a matter of fact, all the parts are pretty basic in this. They're just arranged in such a way that it makes it very sonically well textured and interesting. Great composition all around. Most of the song throughout has a pretty flat loudness dynamic but the changing of the parts throughout gives it a different sort of dynamic that makes it interesting to me. Wasn't bored, found it interesting, found it weird. Total grade for this song, equal sign. Bridgeless by Umphreys McGee. This is a live recording of this song. Kind of like a 70s hard rock vibe, especially in the beginning. The vocals are okay, I am digging the organ tone. Melody on the vocals, very repetitive in the beginning. Honestly, it didn't impress me very much. At 56 seconds, we get a feel change, get like a conga percussion. Love the touches of guitar at this part. The minute 35, we go slap bass and full hard rock, launching us right into these badass guitar harmonies that I was not expecting. Has almost a metal feel to them. Very atypical for a jam band. Goes kind of into a six feel, or maybe it's a seven feel that I'm digging on. We continue with these guitar harmonies for a lot of the song. The tone is very reminiscent of Baroness's Red album. Absolutely great groove throughout this song. Great recording for a live recording. Although the one thing I would say, the snare sounds a little weird. 
Guitar parts were totally badass throughout this song. There's even a part near the end of what they're doing where they have like a dueling guitar parts. Absolutely loved it. Total grade for this song, plus sign. Hair Trigger by Protest the Hero. Absolutely insane intro with some badass uh, metal chugs on the guitar with legato leads in between. Some killer vocals on this. Kind of 80s inspired in the beginning and later in the song he sounds more like Claudio Sanchez. The chorus may be a little too simplistic vocally. They have really cool offbeat accents throughout the song. That guitar player does not have any time to breathe. He's constantly 16th notes and 32nd notes throughout. Two minutes and 30 seconds, it gives this great freaking groove where they're doing this kind of, it's not syncopated because everyone's in unison, but this, this really cool offbeat feel in unison, really cool. Absolutely love this bass tone. Harmonically, this song is very thick, very high information music. 349, there's a kick-ass bass part there. It's very funk-inspired. This song just kicks ass. Total grade for this song, plus sign. Belly of the Beast by Anthrax. This is classic thrash, very thick guitar tone. Drums sound like shit. Vocals could use a little more compression. They do have a doubler on them, which I think helps because the vocal performance is pretty weak. I'm digging the chorus enough. There's some cool riffs happening here. The melody could be a little bit better throughout. If you're gonna do just straight ahead, singing along with the riff type vocals, put some more balls behind it, please. The drums almost throughout the entire song do the same rhythm on the kick and snare. The guitar solo is appropriate, though I don't like the way it was mixed. It felt a little bit too smushed in with everything else. 338, got a cool groove there in the bridge. All around, it seems like the vocal performance and the production were really holding this back for me. Not terrible, just missing something. Total grade for this song, equal sign. Calm Like a Bomb by Rage Against the Machine. This bass is incredibly low end, and holy shit, the guitar tone. And then, anything else I'm gonna say about this track, I've already talked about. The kit sounds live, as to be expected. The vocals are, as to be expected. The groove of the song is, as to be expected. This really will be no different than anything else I said about killing in the name of. It's the same formula, just a different arrangement of stuff. And a slightly different arrangement at that. It's good, but do you really want to hear me repeat myself again? I'm sure some of you do, and uh, too bad. Total grade for this song, equal sign. Hajnal by Venetian Snares. Starts out with a string intro, and the strings are going to be our main theme throughout the song. The strings are very high tension, very passionate. They are definitely samples. The feel of the composition is very cinematic. Killer pedal tone on the violin. At one minute, our other orchestra instruments come in. No woodwind at this part that I can hear. Piano is holding down most of our low end. At 1.30, we have the drums come in, very jazzy, smooth. I think maybe there's an upright bass, I couldn't tell. And then either an oboe or a clarinet comes in. I think it's an oboe though. Production for this is excellent all around. The composition is killer. It's like if Prague was written on traditional instruments. And then at 3.30, we all of a sudden go EDM. It was badass. It's, I think, I'm pretty sure they just resampled the A-man groove and just chopped it to bits, which made it fucking kick ass. Cool synth accents throughout. Could totally see this track in an anime or JRPG. And then we kind of, at uh, 5.35, we mellow out for a second, and he goes back to a traditional kit, and he starts hitting the snare with his hands. I thought that was cool. The song is very creative, has killer depth and great texture. I really loved this. Total grade for this song, two plus signs. So What You Want by the Beastie Boys. This intro is embarrassing. Super stuffy mix. They, they filtered the mix, which I know is for effect. It's, I guess, interesting for a little bit, but it fucking wears on you so quick. They do switch up the different percussion samples throughout the song. This filtered mix on the vocals wears very fucking fast. I was anticipating we were gonna have our breakout moment. Never came. The vocal flow is different. It's like, okay, but could have been done way better. As a matter of fact, I feel like it's in the style of Rage Against the Machine, or rather vice versa, and I think Rage Against the Machine did it a lot better. The beat is interesting enough percussively, but is not anything special. They took some shitty, poorly assembled samples from like a bass and something else and just tossed it together. It feels like they were trying to go for a Cypress Hill vibe and missed. I don't hate the vocals, but man, they could have been done better. They just border on annoying. This is not remotely my thing. 
Total grade for this song, equal sign. The Key of Evergreen by The Devil Wears Prada. Almost a blast beat intro, but not quite there. Huge smack kick and guitar combo. I do not like these vocals at all. That guitar is very percussive. It's like borderline genty. 108, we just kind of decide to go to a droney, spacey part. I love the timbre of it. Really wish these vocals didn't annoy the piss out of me. There's really not too much harmonically to work with here in like the beginning parts. The chorus, as I'm going to call it, is nice. At two minutes, we get this vibey guitar and synth type part with some mellowed out drums. There's an opportunity for a great melody and it's completely wasted. Some background ahs don't cut it. At the latter portion of this part, he just kind of talks and escalates into a scream over top of it. What a shame. The structure of the song is too disjunctive. It's a nice feel for each part, but they're connected too deliberately. They do not feel natural. Quick side note, I actually love the feel at four minutes. That was kick-ass. This song is okay. It could use someone who's an actual vocalist and it could use a rewrite. Total grade for this song, equal sign. My suggestion for you this week is River Utopia by Cell 15. Cell 15 is the project of my mentor, Bob Richardson. He is the shit. This song is hella great. I love it. The intro portion sounds like it would go on any fucking Japanese video game. It has a very classic prog feel, also heavily Neil Morris and a little bit of Pink Floyd vibes involved. He definitely pulled back more from Pink Floyd on this album. That is it for Song Suggestion Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave your suggestions in the comments below. Please also support me on Patreon. Patreon is what keeps YouTube my job. Also go check out the subreddit. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Become the Night. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Rock on!